when you wake up in the morning and you're camping in the outdoors, in the wilderness, the desert, wherever you're doing, once you get out of your sleeping bag, the temptation's okay, let's get it going. I'm backpacking, I need to cover distance. Let me just jam the sleeping bag, stuff it into its little stuff sack. Well, not that stuff sack. Oh, yes, this stuff sack. And get going. No, you don't want to do that. That is a huge mistake. Because in the morning, your sleeping bag is soaked well, not soaked, but wet from your breathing and your transpiration where the moisture is coming out of your body. And all those water molecules are in your sleeping bag. And if you just jam that sleeping bag into your stuff sack, it is A, going to stay wet. B, the down or the insulation is going to start getting mad. And C, bacteria is going to start growing in here. And it could cause an allergic reaction. I've known uh, there's one other YouTuber she had to completely give up her camping gear and her down bag because it just got so gross for her. So what I do in the morning, as soon as I get out of my bag, I know it's cold, you'll deal, is I take my sleeping bag, I unzip it almost all the way, I completely turn it inside out, and I let that bad boy air out and dry, and if it's really chilly, See, and let it air out and dry, but if it's really chilly, I use a sleeping bag as my insulation in the morning as I'm eating breakfast. And I literally put the sleeping bag over me. You think, oh, Aaron, that's a bad idea. You're going to get wet again. Oh, because I'm not inside and it's sealed. And I do this in cold conditions, like minus 40 degrees. And I just wrap this sleeping bag around me very loosely and the heat from my body, because your body's worth an adult size is worth about a hundred watt light bulb. The heat from my body will warm the sleeping bag up and push the residual water and moisture and water molecules out of your sleeping bag and into the air. And that's how you do it. So that is literally how you dry your sleeping bag every morning when you're backpacking, camping, hiking, adventuring, exploring, whatever. Make sure to dry your sleeping bag because if you stuff it in, this stuff sack wet, it only gets wetter. The down insulation does not work well. And even if you have a synthetic bag, now because synthetic does a terrible job at dealing with molds and mildews and stink, uh, natural fabrics are much better like wool. Wool does not stink as bad compared to synthetics. So you think, oh, I've got a synthetic bag, it can be wet. No, because then it gets gross and then you smell, it smells, ugh. And that's literally how you keep your sleeping bag dry no matter how cold it is, no matter where you are, including in the glorious Bighorn Mountains of Wyoming. My name is Aaron Lindstout. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please check out links in the description of all my books, including Adventure Expedition 1, where I talk about techniques like this of how to keep your gear dry. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can get more info like this.